Hello, and thanks for tuning in for another real-world review. Today, I'll be doing a long-term review of the uh, Lowepro Photosport 30L. Um, I actually bought this bag about two years ago for a trip to Morocco, and I even recorded some review segments while I was there, but I don't think I really captured or even understood the personality of the bag. Um, some time passed, and I tried again a year later in Costa Rica without success. And now today, I hadn't used or even thought about the bag in months, and I had no intention of doing a review when I woke up this morning. However, after scrambling, uh, trying to make other bags work, I realized that the Photosport 30 was going to be perfect, and finally got the bag. I'm working here at the uh, Toronto International Dragon Boat Festival. Uh, yesterday, I reprised my role as the official photographer. Today I'm in more of a supervisory role. I needed to bring some stuff, but the other bags couldn't fit the eclectic collection of gear and other things I wanted. Um, I love the original Photosport 200. As you may be able to tell from these pictures, I have put it through a lot of use and it's still my default daily bag. Uh, when the Photosport 30L was announced, I genuinely hoped that they would just enlarge the bag, um, keep all the sort of the aspect ratios and the dimensions without fixing stuff that wasn't broken. So when I got the 30L, I was a little concerned when I saw some things had been modified. I really liked the number of pockets and compartments in the original Photosport 200. A couple of those pockets didn't find their way to the 30L. Uh, as a chronic organizer, I missed having a place for everything. But as I packed this morning and I couldn't fit stuff into those smaller pockets, pockets in the Photosport 200, I realize that sometimes there really is no substitute for one big space. Um, sure, I may have to put my batteries in the same compartment as my USB cables, but I can now pack a rain jacket, a water bladder, tablet, food, microphones in one space. And it's a space that still looks empty if you look at this bag. And that's sort of the irony of today's review is that I'm not really pushing the bag to its limits, but it's how I best appreciated it. It's still half empty and it can still handle whatever the day throws at me. Space aside, another new feature is the removable padded camera compartment. In my original review from Morocco, I specifically said this wasn't a feature that I would use. Um, unbeknownst to me, it would actually save my butt on the flight home. Uh, as I tried to pack in all those souvenirs and things that I wanted to bring home from Morocco, I really had no choice but to remove the camera compartment and enlarge the already cavernous interior of the Photosport 30L. Having a separate protected option to carry the camera was a huge benefit. And that camera compartment is sizable. In preparing for today, it was the only bag that would comfortably carry my Canon 5DS with a 35 to 350 mil lens attached. Uh, and that's all I brought today, but there's still room in the compartment if I wanted a flash or a secondary lens. The carry surface has also been redesigned. The Photosport 30 features a trampoline style back for improved ventilation. Uh, this mesh does have its limits. If you do super load the bag, it'll compress against your back, make you sweaty, uh, but you're still no worse off than if you had another bag with a solid foam back that just perpetually pressed against your back with no ventilation. But other than that, the bag carries over the same top compartment, convenient pockets on the side waist straps, side and a rear utility pocket, a weatherproof cover, some straps on the bottom and side, and the ability to carry the largest water bladders available. More than anything though, it maintains the same spirit of the previous photo sports and that it'll take your equipment safely and comfortably wherever you have to go.